How to write footnotes and endnotes. Which are the steps for writing footnotes and endnotes? Here is a list of steps we will discuss to help write great footnotes and endnotes. 1. Understand the meaning of footnote and endnote. 2. Research your topic's question. 3. Pick the relevant sources of your work and get the citations. 4. Insert the footnote and endnote. 5. Format your endnote and footnote correctly. How do you insert footnote and endnote in Word and Google Docs? Here are the steps on how to use footnotes in Microsoft Word 2021. Place the cursor where you want to place the footnote text, then locate the References tab and check for AB.1. Symbol Under the symbol, there is a button with the phrase Insert Footnote. When you click on the footnote, two numbers will appear, one in the main text and the other at the bottom of the page. Now write your citation in the text and the other at the footer. Later format the text according to the referencing style that you are using. Adding footnotes and endnotes in a Google Doc is as follows. Click where you want to place your footnote. Find the Insert tab and choose Insert Footnotes. Two numbers will appear in the main text and at the bottom of the page. Write your citation and the additional information. Format the text according to the referencing style that you are using. How do you format endnotes and footnotes? Three different referencing styles use footnotes and endnotes. Let's discuss each in detail below. Chicago style footnotes and endnotes format. Wine. Use single space for each endnote and double space between entries. 2. Each endnote entry is indented half. 3. The endnote number matches the number used in the work. 4. If you use a footnote in the body, then there is no need for an endnote. 5. The endnotes should have a title notes and center. 6. Use notes immediately after direct quotations. 7. Place endnotes after the main text and appendices, but before the bibliography. 8. Use a number for the notes, average number, followed by a period and space, or use a superscript with a space and no period. 9. Iden the first line of each note for half an inch. 10. The right margin should be ragged. 11. If you cite one note severally, you can use short notes for other references. APA style format for endnotes and footnotes. 1. Notes should be numbered consecutively in the order they appear in the text. 2. Insert footnotes after the punctuation mark. In the case of a dash, the superscript should appear before the dash. 3. If referring to the same footnote, don't add any superscript numeral. Instead, write, see footnote 3, and give the description again. 4. Ensure that your footnote has the following, author's initial and last name, name of publisher, place of publication, date, and page number. APA style mostly uses footnotes for copyright permissions for in-text citations as credit for another author's ideas. Therefore, there are two types of footnotes in APA copyright and content. This style requires a more detailed acknowledgement of the copyright status, called copyright attribution. Examples that may require copyright attributions include 1. Figures, images, tables, 2. Data, 3. Research instruments, 4. Long quotations, 5. Commercial stock photography, 6. Clip art. Where should you include a copyright attribution in APA? The copyright attribution can appear as a footnote if you are reprinting or adapting a research instrument. But for reprinting or adapting tables and figures, the copyright status should appear at the end of the figure note. MLA style format for footnotes and endnotes. In the MLA style, footnotes are uncommon unless when providing additional content or if the bibliographic information is complex. Wine. 
Endnotes should appear on a separate page, before the works cited, too. The numbers should appear in consecutive orders as they are in the paper. 3. Don't include footnotes and endnotes in the same document, choose one and be consistent. Remember your footnote or endnote should be included in the works cited. 4. Avoid using asterisks or angle brackets to indicate footnotes or endnotes. 5. Always use Arabic numbers as the note number in the body text. 6. If writing footnotes on the same page with the text, enter double spacing below the main text and single spacing between notes. 7. Footnotes appear at the end of a sentence, just like an in-text citation. If there is a dash in the text, the footnote number should come before, just like in Chicago style. Which are the pros and cons of notes? Depending on the type of notes you use for your article, both have pros and cons, advantages of endnotes, wine. They are less distracting to your reader and enhance your article's flow, too. They don't clutter your page, 3. Since they appear on a separate page, they allow the reader to read them all at once, disadvantages of endnotes, wine. It's tedious when searching for a particular endnote, you have to flip the paper to the end, too. Sometimes you may need to remember the chapter number and endnote number when searching for a specific endnote, 3. Some endnotes may contain hidden disclaimers in adverts, and the reader may think you are hiding something. Pros of footnotes 1. Easy to locate footnotes or the source that the readers want. 2. Allows the reader to link the footnote with the subject without any struggle in finding the note. Cons of footnotes. 1. They clutter up the page. 2. If having multiple charts, columns, or tables below, you will have a small space for the footnote. 3. Sometimes, the note can be lengthy and end up dominating the page.